Ever wondered why some people seem to be so effortlessly disciplined whilst others fail to make any real progress? See, I used to be so undisciplined and lazy and it made me feel so weak. Spending hours a night in my crusty little chair, wasting my life away gaming. Everything that I ever needed doing got put off until the last minute. And then when I first got into self-improvement, nothing really changed. I continued to indulge in whatever cheap dopamine I could get my hands on. Now I'm guessing if you clicked on this video, you're probably a lazy bitch just like I was, or you're struggling to make any real progress and take action. So in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how I got out of your position, stopped procrastinating, and built super high levels of discipline. Just like in a video game, I want you to view discipline as a skill that can be leveled up. Let's compare trying to build discipline to defeating the Ender Dragon in Minecraft. To get to the point where you finally kill the ultimate boss, you complete the game and kill the ender dragon, it takes lots of small actions before that, slowly progressing, building up towards the final big event. You don't just spawn in and within like 30 seconds you've killed it and it's, the game's finished, you know, there will be no point in it whatsoever. It takes time and progression. And this is similar to discipline, you can't just build ultra discipline in one step. And if you've ever been told that, it's a lie. It's nowhere near as easy as that. What it takes is you going away, working on a skill and a goal every single day, and then maybe in six or 12 months, you can call yourself disciplined. This is the reality of it. It's not a quick fix. It takes consistent action every day. You start off at level one, and then you level up and level up and keep leveling up over time. So how do we level this skill up? How do we go from leather to iron to diamond to never iron? I think I'm remembering that correctly. How do you go all the way up and progress to becoming super disciplined? Well, let me share with you the first step to doing this. This involves removing everything else that's unnecessary and focusing down on one key element. If you're lazy and undisciplined, let's be honest, you aren't just going to go from playing eight hours of video games to play none just like that. It takes lots of small steps. So the first thing that I want you to do right now is to choose your one key discipline element. This is the one thing that you're gonna spend the next week working on and becoming ultra productive in. Just one thing and ignoring everything else. This could be cold showers, meditation, running, weightlifting, anything, literally anything. Just one thing that you're gonna become super consistent and disciplined that. This makes it easy to become disciplined in one area. And then once that's become part of your identity and you're consistently doing it, and you've got it at like a good consistent level, then you can move on to the next skill, perfect that, then the next skill perfects that. Instead of just trying to ram down like cold shower meditation, walking, journaling, uh, going to the gym, running, working on a business, studying, all these different things at once, trying to be disciplined in that that's gonna lead to failure. That's gonna lead to you getting burnt out. If you just do one step at a time, slowly, progressively building on each one, then you'll build long lasting and consistent discipline. You know, in Minecraft, you build your first house and then you spend a little bit of time there, you gather resources and then you go to your next base and then you spend a little bit of time there and build on that. And then you go to a bigger base and you keep progressing it but you have these little down periods where you just build on what you've got. I cannot lose if I do not quit. The next step to building discipline is something I call damage limitation. Pushing through the moments when you're demotivated, you really don't feel like it and you feel like quitting, that's when you make real progress. Not when you feel like it, not when you're motivated to do something and you have the energy to do work. That's not when you make real progress, that's easy to do. It's when you really, really do not feel like doing it. So what is damage limitation? Well, it's basically like an agreement that you make with yourself where like on your worst days where you know you're not going to get anything done, you go, okay, I know the conditions are set up for me to procrastinate. I know I'm not going to have a great day. So what can I do to limit the damage as much as possible? What can I do to make it not as bad as it could be? Still bad, but nowhere near as bad as it could be. So then you try your hardest to do the hard tasks even if it's in a super small amount. On the days where I really do not feel like getting into the cold shower, I get into it for like half the time. On the days where I don't feel like scripting a YouTube video, well, I script like the intro and leave the rest of it for another day. See, most people give up when their conditions aren't perfect. And on these days, you should fight your absolute hardest to stay somewhat disciplined, even if it's not a good amount just a little bit disciplined. And this is so good because it builds consistency and momentum. And then on the days where you really do feel like it, you've got a bit of motivation, it's so much easier. You can do even more than you usually would because you slowly build on that momentum. It's like, it's like here, but then on the days where you don't feel like it, instead of going all the way down to here, it only goes down to here a little bit. Building your identity and self-image is something that I've spoken about so much on this channel. And it's basically the idea that the more disciplined actions you do, the more you associate yourself with a disciplined person, 
the more you become disciplined and it's like a spiral getting better and better. But I want to tell you something that I haven't really spoken about before. That's the discipline stack. This is basically where you have a small period in your day where you try and stack as many disciplined habits onto each other as possible. And this is something that I find particularly effective to use in the morning, but it could be used any time throughout the day. So for me in the morning, I wake up, I cold shower, I meditate, I do affirmations, and then I do a deep work block for 90 minutes. That's a stack of five hard tasks that I don't really feel like doing, but because I've got a lot of energy in the morning, I try and get all these things done all at once and I don't go on my phone. And if something distorts this discipline stack, then I usually don't have as productive as a day as I usually do. I don't know why it is, but it's almost like if I do it in the morning, it sets my day off like really well. And then I can continue building on the disciplined habits I did earlier on. You know, using this energy that you have in the morning is so much better to build momentum through disciplined habits. Instead of scrolling on your phone for two hours and wasting, wasting away, you know, wasting all that energy that you give it. Sometimes I'll also use this at night. I will read, journal, meditate, uh, plan my next day and then sleep in like a stack like that so everything gets done in these short little bursts of discipline and this helps you build that identity of a disciplined person do more disciplined actions become more disciplined and like i said before spiral spiral get better at being disciplined until you're at the position that i'm in where discipline is just effortless if you want to know how you can break your bad habits check out the first link in the description